Safe Glass Lesson Number 4, Home Hazards. As we saw in earlier lessons, there are many causes of fires in our homes. The most common is accidents while cooking, when food or grease is overheated, or when things are left on the stove or too close to the stove like we see here. Next is electrical fires, caused by things such as overloaded outlets. We will learn other causes of electrical fires coming up in this lesson. Next was fires from heating equipment, either by malfunction or heat too close to furniture or other materials. And lastly was accidents caused by candles, careless smoking, or some other accidental cause. One common mistake people make is to hide cords under furniture or under rugs. Some cords are even left in the open areas where people walk. Foot traffic stepping on these cords causes the insulation or the plastic covering over the wires to become worn and broken. This causes wires to be exposed which poses a fire hazard but also an electrocution hazard. Wires across a floor, even under a rug, also present a trip and fall hazard. Small children and older adults are especially vulnerable to injuries from falls. We know things like space heaters need to be placed away from furniture to prevent fires, but space heaters and other electrical items like air conditioners or kitchen appliances should never be used with an extension cord. Most extension cords are too small to handle the amount of electricity used by these appliances. Using an extension cord that's not sturdy enough is a frequent cause of accidental fires. Another common kitchen hazard is burn and scald injuries from hot foods and hot liquids. Even though it's not a fire hazard, hot food and even things like coffee can cause serious burns bad enough to require hospitalization and surgery. Children should never play in the kitchen while cooking and make sure handles are turned away so they aren't easily bumped and children can't pull them down. Other common items in our homes can cause serious burn injuries. Even hot bath water is a serious risk for people of all ages but especially children. Children should never be left alone near or in a hot bathtub. In some homes, natural gas leaks can cause a serious emergency. Some appliances like furnaces, water heaters, or ovens use natural gas for fuel. These appliances or the gas pipes can leak, creating the chance of a fire or even an explosion. Natural gas and propane have the odor of rotten eggs. If you smell natural gas in your home, you should leave immediately, go to a safe place, and call the fire department. Don't turn off lights or switches, and don't open any windows. The best thing to do is leave the house as it is. The fire department and the gas company will work to make the house safe. Another risk of gas appliances is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, also called CO, is a colorless and odorless gas that is created when gas-fueled appliances are not working properly or they're not ventilated properly. A car left running inside of a garage can also cause a dangerous buildup of CO, which can seep into our house. Carbon monoxide is toxic and can cause dizziness, headache, nausea and vomiting, and in very high concentrations can cause unconsciousness or even death. Because we can't see or smell carbon monoxide, we must have CO detectors in our homes, just like we have smoke detectors. CO detectors must be tested monthly and the batteries changed twice per year, just like smoke detectors. If your CO detector sounds, or you think you have a carbon monoxide leak in your house, you should leave the house immediately, go to a safe place, and call the fire department. Leave the windows closed so the fire department can measure the amount of carbon monoxide that's in your home. Flammable liquids such as gasoline, paints, cleaners, or other chemicals should never be stored inside the house. These things should be kept in a garage or in an outside building like a shed. Fumes and vapors from gasoline or chemicals can easily ignite and start a fire. Equipment like lawnmowers should never be refueled while they are hot. If your mower runs out of gas, take a break and let it cool off before filling it back up. Not only are chemicals like this a fire hazard, but they can be a burn or poison hazard, especially to small children. 
Cleaners or chemicals that can't be stored outside should be kept in a child-resistant cabinet or should be kept on a shelf out of reach of children. Not only are these chemicals poisonous, but they can cause serious chemical burns to a child's mouth or stomach. Medications can be especially dangerous to small children who may think that the pills are candy and they eat them. Pills and medicine should be kept out of the reach of children and in child-proof containers. Trips and falls are common injuries for small children and older adults. Floors should be kept clear of anything that someone can trip and fall over. Stairs are particularly dangerous and should be kept clear at all times. Let's do a quick safety scavenger hunt. As a group, either in your class or with your family, search this picture and count how many hazards you can find. 